I like this book for the Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, All The Stories. Today I will be doing yet another book haul. Here are all the books that I bought in the month of... What month is it? It is August, so July. In this book haul I do have a ton of fantasy, adult fantasy mostly, because I've been in a really big fantasy mood so I've been buying a ton of fantasy books, so yeah. Here we go. So first I want to talk about the one and only book that I've actually read out of the books I bought in July and that is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. I got this because it was the Unfriendly Black Hotties book club pick for the month of July. I, I bought it, I read it, I loved it and that's all I want to say about that. If you want to hear my thoughts on it my July wrap up should already be posted so there you go. So I do have one book that I've already started. I haven't finished it yet but that book is The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb and this is the illustrated edition. So I started this one yesterday for the Disney readathon and I'm already on page 140 and I'm enjoying this so far and yeah I bought this in August and I really hope that I like it because I also ended up buying Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb in the illustrated edition as well. Um so once I finish that, I can go ahead and hop into this. Well, not right away because my TBR for my readathon. But if I like it, I already have book two. And I love these editions so much. The illustrations in here are beautiful. And yeah, I just think these editions are stunning. And I'm so glad to have them on my shelves because y'all know I love a pretty edition of a book. And if you don't know what the Royal Assassin series is about, it follows our main character Fitz, who is the bastard son of the crown prince of the kingdom. So once he turns six, his grandfather kind of takes him to the castle gates and says he's tired of taking care of him and that he's the castle's problem now. And when everyone finds out that he is the prince's bastard son, the prince ends up abdicating the throne and leaving. And Fitz ends up being raised in the palace and his grandfather, the current king, um, picks him out and singles him out and wants him to train to be the assassin for the crown and that is what it's about. It follows Fitz from age six up into I want to say adulthood. I know the series follows him into adulthood. I'm not exactly sure about this book in particular. Um, I know he starts at six and I'm at page 140 and he's about 13 where I'm at so I don't know exactly how far it goes in this book but the series covers like the course of his life and he is the one kind of narrating it and telling you his life story. So another book that I bought and a book that I also ended up putting on my Disneyathon TBR is Jade City by Fonda Lee. This is another adult high fantasy story and it is about this city where the where jade is used to enhance magical abilities. The more jade you have I guess the more power you have I'm assuming and it's about this city that has like a bunch of different families in there and the families kind of rule the city and I'm not exactly sure what's happening over the course of this book. That's all I know about it but I'm really excited. I've heard great reviews about this and again just like with the last book I also ended up buying book two so we ready. I've also been meaning to get into more sci-fi so I bought Leviathan Wakes by James A. Corey. This is a adult sci-fi story and it's like a I want to say this series has like six books in it and it's already completely out so that's great but I'm not exactly sure what this is about. I know it is a sci-fi and I want to say that it's following this guy who's the captain of this kind of raggedy ship and his crew ends up finding this girl and there are some people who are after the girl and I'm excited because I've had a lot of positive things about this book and I'm really excited to start reading more sci-fi. And next I have a book that I've had my eye on for a while now and that I finally end up buying and that is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. If you haven't heard of this book, Where Have You Been? This is like probably one of the most talked about adult high fantasy stories on booktube and Everyone seems to love this. This is the first book in the King Killer Chronicles and it follows our main character Kavoth as he is sitting in a bar telling his life story and I know it has a magic school and a bunch of other things and I'm super excited. I heard nothing but positive things about this book. Everyone I've heard talk about this book raves about it and I just need another good high fantasy book in my life. I feel like a lot of the fantasy books I'm reading are coming to an end this year or next year and really excited to hop into like a new fantasy series. Like I said, this book haul has a lot of fantasy books and that continues with Legacy of Ash by Matthew Ward. 
And this follows three main characters. One is a warrior, one is this warrior sworn enemy, and the third character is his sister. And they are trying to save their country which has gone to war. I know all these synopsises I'm giving you to you aren't very descriptive and very short but I prefer to not know a lot about fantasy books when I go into them because I feel like it kind of ruins the story because I feel like the synopsises give you way more in information than you need. Like I feel like it ruins big plot points for you so I try to go into books especially like big books like this blind and this is a big book like the book is thick and it's also floppy. This book is 750 pages long and I'm ready for all these thick books y'all. As you can tell probably by this video I love long books so I'm living life right now. Next I bought The Obsidian Tower by Melissa Caruso. This is another adult fantasy story. Following our main character Rick Sander as she, and she is the I want to say like I don't think they use the term princess but she is the princess of this kingdom but her magic is wrong like this kingdom the royal line has life magic and her magic kills so she is like the black sheep of the family her magic doesn't work right but she is the warden of the castle and there has been a legend passed down from generation to generation in the family and that legend basically says do not open the obsidian tower because there is something inside of it that can wreak havoc on the kingdom. She is charged with protecting the obsidian tower and keeping people out but somehow someone ends up getting into the obsidian tower and taking what is inside and she is charged with tracking that person down. I actually did try to start this one back in July. During the reading rush I got into kind of a reading slump and I started trying to pick up books and see you know which one I was feeling. So I did start and stop a couple of books and this is one of the ones I picked up and read like the first I read the first like couple of chapters actually. I think I got like maybe 30 something pages into this before I decided to put it down. Not because of anything about the book but just because I wasn't in the mood at the moment. But I am excited to pick this back up because it seemed like it was going to be pretty interesting. So if you watch my channel at all you probably have realized that I have a thing for dragons. I don't think I've mentioned it really in a while but I have a thing for dragons. Books with dragons, movies and dragons. So these next two books um, kind of were purchases strictly the word dragons drew me in and I can't turn down a good dragon book. The first one is Given by Nandy Taylor. This is a dragon book and it follows a main character who I believe is a princess and there is a dragon shifter who chooses her as his mate and she's not feeling it. I'm not sure exactly what's going on but I am excited for this one. I did get a little wary when I finally got the book though because if, I don't know if you can see it but it says Wattpad books on here and whenever I see that a book started out as a Wattpad story I get a little nervous so I am a little nervous about this book but hopefully it's good. The synopsis sounds interesting and it has dragons so it's already a good start for me but I'm scared. And the next book is a new release that I was anticipating all year and that is The Book of Dragons. This is a short story collection. I think it also features a few poems in here and they're all based around dragon mythology from around the world and I am ridiculously excited about this. Like I just said I love dragons. They're like my favorite things in books and movies. I love dragons so much and that has been a thing since I was a child. Like I mean like kindergarten I've always been obsessed with dragons so so this book is definitely up my alley it has like I said short stories about different dragon mythologies from different countries and cultures and I am super excited there is a list of all the authors on the back there are a few authors on here that I have read from before like R.F. Kwong who is the author of Poppy War um, we have Shannon McGuire I have I think I've read something by Garth Nix before. I'm not exactly sure. And that looks like it for the authors I've read from before. But there are a ton of authors in here. I'm just going to show you. But yeah, there's a lot of authors. And it's also illustrated. Not like look at the end pages. they like dragon scales. The cover has nothing on it, but you know. And then they're like illustrations on the title pages of each poem and short story. So super excited about this as you can probably tell. So the last book is another new release and that is The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. And this is a YA horror I think is the genre. I'm not sure if it exactly falls under horror or fantasy or historical fantasy. I'm not exactly sure where it will fall but 
I did hear this is supposed to be like a scary dark book about witches and dark magic and things like that. It follows a main character who is biracial and living in this very puritanical town. Uh, she is a witch and there is some kind of darkness that is threatening the safety of the town and she is trying to stop it. I think that the town doesn't like her because she's biracial and they're very like rude to her but she's trying to save it anyway which yay for her but I've heard I haven't heard many things about this since it just came out. Um, but I am really excited for it and I hope that I like it. I am a big baby when it comes to scary things though. So I'm a little nervous about going into this since it is supposed to be scary. So I don't know. We're going to see. But that is it for all the books that I bought in January. Not January. So that is it for all the books that I bought in July. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.